In a significant move, Nedbank has allocated 3.5 billion rand towards Cape Town's infrastructure development over three years. The City Council approved this funding on June 12, following engagements with various lenders. Additionally, the International Finance Corporation will provide $150 million, around 2.7 billion rand, and the French Development Agency will offer 100 million euros. Cape Town Mayor Jordan Hill Lewis aims to invest 39.5 billion rand in infrastructure by June 2027. To shed more light, we turn to Professor of Economics, Waldo Kriegel, for further insights. Economic activity is unevenly distributed across the country. A few cities attract investment, produce the biggest share of GDP and create jobs. In recent years, the city of Cape Town has been able to spend its public infrastructure allocations and to attract private sector funding like the 3.5 billion it has secured from NetBank. It may sound unfair, but spending the bulk of our scarce investment resources in the metro cities is the best way to drive economic growth and job creation. One of the worst legacies of apartheid is that many people are left behind around small towns and in rural areas with limited economic opportunities. To bring businesses and jobs to them would be inefficient. The big cities naturally have a large market of consumers, better matching between firms and workers, specialized suppliers and innovation that is in the air. The per-person cost of supplying infrastructure is also much lower in high-density areas. It's better to bring people to opportunities, and many have figured this out for themselves, voting with their feet when they move to Cape Town and other places that are doing well.